Tinasi, you my hero. C'est le son du jeu. Welcome back, Kane's family to another film review. A uh, big shout out to my man Kane's Chief for posting the whole game on Twitter. Uh, let's get straight into it. Offense had things to be excited about. Defense had things to be excited about. We came out healthy, uh, to the most part, to our knowledge at least. Uh, let's just get straight into it. So, uh, 12 sets. You got your two tight ends here. Everybody's going to release. Love the fact that Chris Johnson helps this throw uh, be made because of some pass protection. You see how he slides over. You see Samson's dealing with Bain. That's a handful. So love how he chips over there to give Cam Ward enough time. So this is playing off coverage, you know, about 10, 12 yards off of Restrepo. He's just going to eat that cushion up and then break out really quick. Knife back to the football on that comeback route. Uh, just easy pitch and catch at that point. But, again, shout out to Chris Johnson. He came as a smaller speed back. Uh, these are the type of things you have to do. Give Cam Ward enough time to make that throw. Obviously, this is the very first exciting drive. I can't wait to get into it. I know the offense scored this drive and we we're all hype, but you know, realistically, we would be putting the ball here, you know, if we if we were to get stopped short here. This is sticky man coverage across the board. You got 31 sets, so that's trips left. You got three receivers to the left. One is the backside. Um, so just nice sticky coverage here. You love this from Wesley inside. Riding, 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 riding. Loving that from Wesley. You got great coverage out here from Mish. And then you get uh this is a matchup we've been hearing about all spring. Misha and Restrepo, they're going at it. Horton slips a little bit out of his break. Daryl Porter's there. You get Cam Ward to step up, step up, but gets tagged down. Uh, so, again, we would not be going for this first down. Well, maybe we would, uh, but most likely we will be putting this ball. This would be a good stop by the defense. Personnel here is going to force something nice. Uh, so you get the little 12 personnel set, so you get your two tight ends here. Uh, so you get both corners over here. You got Daryl Porter on the outside and today it's Richard inside on X. We're going to run that quick little stem inside and then get back out for that little speed out. So this is a nice little easy first down play. You have Horton run Daryl Porter off his man coverage. That inside stem keeps uh, Jadais busy. I mean, you know, in square. Then he breaks off right underneath the easy first down. But then, you know, X, he got to break tackles. He got to get downfield. Um, turn little plays into big plays. Uh, so again, another explosive 40 plus yard play all because of the setup the leverage in the beginning of the route. It's going to give him enough space. And then he's going to turn into a running back after he catches it. Ducks that tackle upfield for another 30 yards. Great hustle here chasing him down. Again, oh, I can't wait to get into Pruitt. But good hustle by Pruitt chasing him down. I thought he had a great spring game. He was everywhere. Another 12 set. We have inserted Elijah Lofton into the backfield. Going to motion X in here tight going to be a nice little rub concept you get the mesh underneath you have the hunt route which is somebody who's going to sit in between you got boom coming boom coming and somebody who sits in the middle uh so this is a lot of space for a dare porter to cover first off he has outside leverage to begin now he has to go through all this traffic it's pretty much impossible to do so cam ward sees horton 6'4, 200 striding away uh great great at route depth from everybody because it worked just fine everybody was able to rub dp it's a hard job to run across the middle anyway uh, on a crosser, but when you have all this traffic in, uh, inside, it's pretty much impossible. That's why they call them man beaters. 
So we see Poff, uh, Poff as a second quarterback uh, inserted into the game here. This two by two set. He has Riley Williams here in the slot. It's really hard to miss him here, man, at six seven. He might even be six eight. Uh, but a lot of good vibes coming from Riley Williams. He's running that that climb route. So you're crossing the number two defender, and you want to get behind the mic and get vertical, uh, start crossing around. So it's a bit, basically just a deep over route. Poff standing tall, standing tall, standing tall, doesn't really move, doesn't really move. Start seeing some pressure late. Fading away, this is probably his best pass of the day. I didn't think he had a bad day, but he didn't wow me. Uh, but this is definitely his best pass of the day, right over the top of this second level up high so Riley Williams can use that 6-7 frame and go get it. That's knowing your personnel. Go put that up for the big fella. And uh, just great execution there. Throwing off the back foot and great ball placement and uh, Riley Williams finishing it off. Love the way we're using the tight ends. 12 set here again. We got Robbie in tight so it's like a trips bunch here. A little quick end around. Got to get our speed in space. Uh, fake handoff. Whipped it around to Robbie. Now he gets one little move and he got the outside for a 16 yard gain. Uh, using some of our speed and space. There's a play early. There's a play later. I wish uh, Robbie was going to be able to get his hands on, but he looked fast. Two by two set here to the near side. Love the uh, switching up the arm angle here from Cam Ward. Great job here for Restrepo. It's a tunnel screen. So now it's his job to go out there and get that outside corner. Does a great job getting so. Offensive line is getting downfield. Now we see JoJo, our true freshman phenom, getting up upfield for about 10, 12 yards before Misha is able to corral him and uh, bring him to a stop. But great job here by Restrepo blocking that out. And then JoJo showing some wiggle after the catch and getting downfield. Love the arm. We're in our 12th set uh, tight end, but it's a quad look. You see both our tight ends over here. So it's different look so far. We're trying to get this big, deep post over to Horton. Cam's holding it, holding it, play action, play action. Finally lets it go. Great job by Mish over the top here. Um, bra <clears throat> They bracketed Horton. You got Damari Brown trailing. You got Mish over the top. Uh, solid play from our defensive backs. Even though Cam Ward had all the, you know, highlights and, you know, the stats there, I thought we saw the good plays from our defensive back. We'll get into a couple later, like a pick six too. Two by two set here by the offense. Third and 15, that's for, for forever. That's inviting pressure. This de delayed blitz here from Popo is going to see that middle open up. And Elijah Lofton is a man child, uh, but he's going to lose this rep here one-on-one -on -one in the hole with Popo. He's going to blow him up, which is going to force Cam Ward to step up and get that touch sack. So love this from Popo uh, coming in. See, that as soon as that guard and center peels open, that's that one gap in between. Now it's just mono e mono Popo and Lofton. He wins that matchup, pushing them back. And then next thing you know, defense gets the big stop. Two by two set, little free throw concept. So you just, your outside receivers going deep so you can get clear up that whole sideline. So Ray Ray's coming on that out route. Gets around 10 yards to that out. Ball's a little behind. Great away from the body catch from Ray Ray and able to finish through contact um, as the defender went right through him. Uh, great concentration, way to make a play for your quarterback. Balls aren't all the way, you know, all the time going to be accurate or the most accurate, but they got to, it's there within your frame. You got to catch that. Way to go back there and make that hands catch or secure the ball. I thought Ray Ray looked confident. They were switching jerseys on him. He was in white jersey for some time. He was in uh, orange jersey for some time making plays. I thought you saw more confidence from Ray Ray. 11 set here. I know this is Kane's fans, one of, for a lot of them, their first look at Chris Wheatley Humphrey. Um, but he is explosive. This is something he's been doing in Broward County for a long time. That's why he averages like 100 yards a carry. But quick press the line of scrimmage, then bounce outside. He has a different type of juice. Uh, you saw when he was getting some carries in, he started getting some momentum. He was getting like 7, 8 a pop. He's coming up right here up the middle. Once he decides to get that juice, it's, it's just a different quick step, man. It's nice to get that recruitment, uh, you know, focus on that speed. Uh, you can to you can totally tell with you know Chris Johnson he showed some speed off you saw Chris uh, you know right now show some speed off that room even though it's in it's injured right now it's banged up a little bit uh, you're starting to see some of the toys we're in our 11 personnel that's three receivers and one tight end here he is in the back seat the backfield a little 22 set and uh, he's gonna be pass blocking you see so Emory's looking right there's a double move here on the outside so it's a stop and go he was looking for it good coverage Eric so he doesn't get it. He comes back to the double to the <clears throat> to the double side on the near side, and when he does that, his running back sneaks off to the right. So it's not like 
Emery wasn't reading correctly or some fans were like, oh, my God, you didn't see the guy I checked down the flat. I get it. He looks wide open, um, but he's looking that way, looking for that double move. So he's coming back to see if he can get rid of the football to the left. Once he does that, there goes the running back. So it's not like Emery, oh, my God, I, I've seen some fans comment on it. I just wanted people to actually see that's the progression of it. And here comes Chase Smith, man. Here's the late blitz. He's going to spin off the guard right here and knock that ball out. Emery's able to fall onto it, but great job here from Chase Smith. I just wanted the people to know that because, you know, they're saying Emery wasn't looking at the check down. The check down. He had to get off. I get it. He's open, uh, but he had to switch sides. Great job here from Chase Smith. Continuing the fight. Another 12 personnel in tight. This is actually the same plate uh, Horton scored on earlier. Another perfect call. Got man coverage. He, he frees 10 yards off. He has to follow Michael Redding all the way across. Uh, you just got to find a way to get this ball to him. Find a way to complete that. Because uh, even though it's third and 11, he, he has a chance here uh, to you know at least get to that line of gain or make it close. Because uh, he just was skiing wide open. Got to find a way to get him that ball. Probably the player you besides Cam Ward, obviously. Excuse me, the player we've heard the most buzz about in all of spring ball. Elijah Lofton here at running back. The motion X in here. Get him in here <clears throat> tight. Now he's just cutting outside. So you see the the ability at 6'2, 250. He looks like he has juice. He's a great job here from the right side of the offensive line. Crashing down, crashing down. It's a huge hole here to the right. And then Lofton just uses that vision and that burst up. He does not look like he is 6'2", 250 pounds when he's moving that ball. He's always going forward. Uh, just a natural ball carrier. If anybody watched that Miami Central game, you'll say it. he scored five touchdowns. He rushed for three of them. Um, this is just a pure football player. And I'm loving the next play here from Cam Boyd. It's going to be a little creativity. I'm going to be stepping up here in the pocket. Again, Lofton here in the backfield. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. He just flips it to him. But I love the physicality from Popo. Seen some great things from him. Uh, this is just a good, clean hit. You know, helmet to the side, shoulder pad right on the football, uh, not going at your teammates' knees. This was a great play. Uh, you know, showed some creativity from Cam Ward. Showed the freshman, you know, making a, a bang-bang play with his quarterback, building some trust. and also shows the young linebacker coming up, making a clean, big hit. Uh, so that's a win-win-win uh, on that play for sure. Here, Popo's in coverage. Breaking down, so athletic. Mm. Shoulder pad right on the football. We go five wide because CJ has that ability to play slot. So we're going trips here. It's field side. This is the matchup we want. We want X on a linebacker. Wesley had a great spring. It looked good in the spring game. He has inside leverage. Uh, doesn't allow X on that outside move to make him go outside of his space. Stays inside, stays inside, rides him through on the slant. No, no, uh, no, uh, <clears throat> no penalty here. Good hard fighting defense. Uh, great job by the uh, Wesley Bassaint, who I think is taking a major step forward. Um, you're a big time receiving threat. These are the type of plays we're supposed to be seeing Elijah Arroyo make. This is trips here to the field side, 31 set. This is backside one on one. This is basically you know island island football. Get a tough slant here. You'll see a defensive, uh, you know, defender here. Drop back, drop back, and that's Popo. Uh, so you catch, that's a strong catch, my G. That's a strong catch. You got a corner to contend with, and you have a linebacker jumping, uh, dropping underneath. Way to put that on his, right on his numbers, uh, Cam Ward. And then that big body able to shield off Damari, who's a 6'2 corner himself. Popo, who's a big linebacker himself. Uh, great to see Elijah Royal healthy, making play. Obviously, there's some big positives in this play. Like Jakari Brown's about to be taken off downfield. But look at uh look at a mod moat in here. Win with his hands here versus left guard. Great burst here from Moat. And he's a he's a guy who's coming into his own. Everybody's been talking about the transfer portal edition. Transfer portal editions do not sleep on Moten. Had some big plays in the uh in the bowl game. Uh got an interception. He's been a playmaker, had some sacks, had some pressures, but Look at him stepping off field, getting in that. Great job by Jakari Brown to step up, though. Then you see that speed and that ability. You can, Usually you don't really see this type of element in spring game because quarterbacks are just touch. Uh, but he's able to switch through that line uh, without even being touched and show that ability out in open field. We've been known that Jakari could do this. Um, he's a gifted athlete. Ain't nobody ever questioning that. 
another 12 set. We got trips here to the right. Man, I wish they found a way to connect on this ball, man, because I thought this was one of Jakari's best, best passes of the day here. Off the fake, rolling to his right. Doesn't even have his feet set. He's throwing off this post, man. They have a little scissors con concept. You'll see the corner here on the inside move from Ray Ray. Has that corner and that post over. You see Jakari doesn't even get his feet set, and he throws a super dime. This was a dime. Uh, it's hard to see. I do believe, I don't know, bro. I just wish Robbie came down with it, man. It looked like it bounced off his fingertips. I mean, but, ah, man, I just wish he came down with this one. That was a very impressive throw here from Jakari Brown. I know the interview was going on, so they don't really run it back. Uh, but, man, that was a beautiful throw. Doesn't even get his feet set. I thought, you know, once Jakari gets a few runs, you saw in the Rutgers games, once he gets his blood flowing, he starts managing the game, you start to see his accuracy shoot way up, way up. Man, that was a good throw. Would have loved to see him come down with that one. 13 set, so one of them backside trips here to the field side. Nice little concept. You get a short, intermediate, and deep route. You got Kirk going over top. Um, showing face right now from the slot. And here comes Night Carr. As soon as his defender is supposed to step up, for this, you're supposed to cut right across. This is literally how it's supposed to look when you draw it up on – you're doing whiteboard talk. Hey, this guy's supposed to shoot underneath and grab this defender. And then once he once he moves, now you have that second level, that void between the linebackers and the safety. Now nah, get across. Like, this is literally how it's supposed to look like when it's drawn up. Great decisive throw here from Jakari Brown. Steps up in the pocket. There's some stunting going on from the defensive line. Has some pressure coming off the edge. Steps up into it. This is a very confident throw. Nightcar had to use both his mitts for this one because it came in with some steam. Standing tall in the pocket, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up. Very accurate throw with some zip on it, getting across the middle. To be honest, I don't know if Citizen looked a little too late and Jakari just wanted to get it out to him before, you know, leading him up to the coverage. But, man, this one didn't look that good. It's just just skidding up, man. I know he's going to be saying my bad. You had a, you know, receiver coming open on his drag here. You had Citizen there. He doesn't have his head around yet, so maybe that's why Jakari's waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, but, man, that was uh, – after the performance he's put on, put on, put on, you see that though, and then everybody's quick to rush. Oh man, this is what you know. He, he's inaccurate and all that, but I mean, in my opinion, I thought he had a great day. He was our second best looking quarterback. Uh, he missed one here, um, but I, that's the only thing I think he needs to do is sometimes those easy throws just need to look a little easier because uh, I thought he had a great day. This is probably the you know the only mishap really. Third and three, just straight gamer. This is what the kids call them gamers. Uh, you know, everybody's coming in hot, coming in hot. He's fading away, throwing it. This gives Jackson Carver another 6'6 six, six tight end. Uh, you know, freshman coming in just gives him a chance uh, to make this uh, make this play downfield. And he's able to do so. He's getting held uh, in one arm. He's able to just fight off. One-handed catch and pins it to his body. Uh, so great job by JB again. Very impressed with what he did today. He looked great. Uh, super happy with his development's looking like. He, I thought he had a good spring last year, and people didn't like his spring game much. Like he could have had a better spring game. Now I think he had a good spring, and now he just highlighted it with a good spring game. So super happy for Jakari. This is 10-yard pitch and catch, but this is so much more important than that. So you have Daryl Porter in off coverage. So look at this from Isaiah Hort. He's able to sell vertical. He's 6'4", 200 pounds. He gets moving. He's able to sell vertical. You have to respect that. He's too damn big. But watch the amount of steps when he's able to snap down. One, two, three. That's elite. That's how you're supposed to get it. Now you got that big body uh, to get that first down or close to it. Um, but the way he's able to sell vertical and snap down, bro, I'm telling you, Horton looks – he's a, he's a different type of cat. He's a third-year player. He's coming into his body. This is not a many guy. Uh, this is a Mario recruit and a big-time one. I think Horton's ready to step up. I've been saying that. If you follow me, uh, I've been a fan of him. But him snapping down in three like that, selling vertical at that size, uh, I think we got some big plans for that backside. Man, it looked like Pruitt is going to be one of them ones and someone who's going to play early. I think uh, he's put on close to, you know, 15 pounds, whatever somebody said, 15, maybe even 20 pounds. Uh, Pruitt's put on since he's come in. And, uh, man, he looks the part here, knifing into the backfield. As soon as you try to, <clears throat> as soon as you try to get up into that, that line of scrimmage, start pressing those holes, um, it's over. He's already winning his matchup. And now you wrapped up getting uh, taken for the TFL. I mean, you're going to see him downfield in coverage. He was sideline to sideline. I love the way Pruitt played. Uh, one of the impact freshmen, he just helped up the other impact freshmen that we've been talking about. But uh, 22, Futures Bright, 
Uh, we'll get to him in a little bit. Two by two set. I ain't gonna lie. This is probably a sack in the real game. I ain't gonna glaze too hard. Get some pressure up here from late Cam Ward. He's escaping the pocket, escaping the pocket. Right here, you kind of don't see that full determination to get that sack. That's why I kind of say, you know, maybe in a game it's a sack. Uh, but we love to see X working back to the quarterback. We all know X is super friendly, uh, you know, quarterback friendly. But that was a super dart to the sideline uh, from Cam Ward here. Rolling, 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 putting it right there so X can go ahead and extend hands, catch, and get his feet inbounds. Like to see that. Uh, we love to see that combination work in just the off script plays because, you know, Canes fans, not to say that was a bad thing that Tyler Van Dyke couldn't do off script plays, but now we have that in the offense. It's something to look forward to. You got to do scramble drills, the exciting plays break down, balls downfield. Uh, very exciting football ahead of us. Here down the red zone or 31 set, you're going to get an inside dig, you know, in from JoJo and an out from X. Doesn't really affect the coverage on that play. X is just able to get a little step out ahead, rolling it really quick. He looks faster. I know he's been training on his speed uh, throughout the offseason. Definitely looks faster. It's going against Xavier and Riley. Uh, players are going to play a lot for us here. But this is a long throw from the opposite hash. Look, Cam Ward let that thing go, and it's right in the money. If you put that thing behind, this is a catch and tackle for a first down. But you put it right where it needs to be. It allows X to go ahead and rumble forward for that touchdown. All about ball placement from that opposite hash. Right there in front of him, lets X tumble in. That's a good offense. 31 set here, and Pop's going to want this throw back. He's sending Kirk up the seam, I mean up the sideline, so you clear that out. You got your slant from your number two. This is just a speed out here uh, to Ray Ray, man. And he, he wins this hesitation here at the top. <clears throat> wins to the side. Feel me? Got to have that ball on him, man. Got to have that one, fam. Didn't think he had the worst day ever, but some of these throws he just had to have. Started off a little strong with uh, with that big throw to Riley. Um, drifting a little bit here, man. You just want to see him make this throw. Uh, Got to have that first come down. People know that uh, I've been high on Shamar Kirk, and I've been waiting to see what this spring will look like for him, and I've saying it's a make or break for him and uh he's making it and i'm uh, super excited because he brings something that most others don't and naturally it's uh you know play after the catch so great job here from emory it's another 11 set personnel you got our tight end here two receivers in tight great job here you're gonna have shamar kirk slanting so you got coverage dropping underneath you got the corners playing over the top of it emory sees it he's able to hit shamar in stride as he's crossing face able to get his hands on that ball, but then what he does after the catch is what's special. He's able to go ahead and immediately <clears throat> show that shiftiness, make a man miss, and get outside. Turns this up for another 40 yards, 50 yards. Um, great job by Marquise Williams not giving up on the play and chasing down, but this is <clears throat> real quick. If you run up in there, that's, you know, that's, oh, yeah, you did a great play, a 15-yard catch, 20-yard catch, great job. You just run and get catch and tackled. You know, make a play. Win that outside leverage, and now you're going up the race, uh, up the sideline, racing for another 40, 50 yards. Uh, great job by Shamar Kirk. Had a great job, I mean, you know, bombing people. Jakari hit him on a bomb. Had some great plays. Super happy for him. He was making, he was balling out. It's just shifting this with the ball in space. We've been going mesh concepts all day. Why not keep throwing them at them? Two by two set. We're in eleven person. I got a tight end here. We're gonna send Shamar Kirk out. Get that mesh concept. You got uh, Sam, uh <clears throat> you got Carver, excuse me, going over the top at 45 yards. You got Ray Ray coming underneath at three with the running back supposed to clear out this linebacker on the wheel, uh, which is exactly what happens here. Gets that ball to Ray Ray playing so confident, able to just go ahead and run straight into that uh, end zone. Looks a lot bigger. You can see they say you put on like 10, 15 pounds worth of muscle. Uh, you can see it, but again. Just killing these man, mesh concepts, mesh concepts. So hopefully we see this moving forward throughout the year. Get some of our guys in space. Come out in the 13 set. So trips here to the field side. Pay attention to this matchup. This is, you know, a true freshman. He's been a freshman for like two months now. Uh, Cam Pruitt, or they say they call him Bobby Pruitt. Uh, but 22 here in the slot. This is, uh, you know, a wheel route man coverage uh, versus Elijah Arroyo. A little rub supposed to be in it. Plays it a soft, nice able to go through. Now he's driving and on his hip, on his hip, on his hip. Ball is going to the outside shoulder. Plays through it. Uh, was a good ball, to be honest with you. Just great defense here from 
from uh, Pruitt. You'll see here, place through it, place through it, place through it, able to knock it out. Impressive for the freshman linebacker. He was sideline to sideline. He was in the backfield. Now he's 30 yards downfield, you know, guarding future NFL tight ends. Uh, the future is bright. Love to see JoJo and Cam Ward uh, complete this ball. Two by two set here, right? So JoJo's hitting that post curl. He just stopped here in this window. Uh, you know, Cam Ward doesn't dump it to the flight. He's pushing the line of scrimmage, pushing the line of scrimmage. JoJo passes the number two defender right across his face. I mean, behind his back. Able to get himself free for a big game. But uh, great to see, you know, hey, your quarterback's going to stay alive. He's going to scramble. He's going to move. Uh, you got to move with him. So it's nice to see the young freshman picking up on that because uh, he's not looking to run. He's pressing that line of scrimmage. He's looking downfield. He's able to zip that in there. Great hands catch by JoJo. Gets another 15 yards upfield yet. I told you we'll get on to Moten. Uh, he's coming on, man. He's been making plays. Uh, loving that big 99 in there. Another <clears throat> another uh, 12 set. Get our two tight ends here. One's the H-back, one's in line here at the end. Going to hand this ball off to Citizen. Fights off that block. Gets that arm right on that football as he swipes down uh, to cause that turnover. Uh, just look at the look at the replay here, man. moten has been coming into his own. He's a homegrown Broward County defensive lineman. Had some big plays last year, interception. But right on that football to rip that right out of Trefonte Citizen's the hands. Great job by Savion Riley being right there to recover. But Moten coming into his own. Another third-year player. That body's right. He looks good. He's competing at a high level. 13 sets. So trips here to the field side. This is one-on-one -on -one backside uh, trying to get this slant over to Horton. It's hard, man. Don't give him much. Just uh, a little split off the line of scrimmage trying to cross face. DP is really quick, man. I love the way these these or these guys were going at it all day. Horton and DP, DP smooth as hell. Uh, we already know what that is, but Horton's gonna come back at him. We're gonna get to that rep very next, but love this. Look at this quick feet from Daryl Porter here. Uh, all right, I'm ready breaking on that. It's hard to beat. Love the way the number twos are going at each other. Now it's uh, <clears throat> now it's two by two set. Uh, see that stutter here from Horton? He's able to get behind DP with his little stutters, able to get freeze his feet up just for a second to get over the top of him. In a real game, that's a touchdown, but since it's already in the second half, there's just basically touch. Uh, you know, basically, you know, he blew the top off. So after, you know, DP's won some reps, it was nice to see Horton, you know, win some reps from the damn self. Uh, and he looked good, man. I'm telling you, Horton looked good. Uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. Your starters are supposed to go back and forth at each other, making each other look, uh, you know, get better. Uh, this is the competition level on Green Tree right now. Uh, I'm feeling very confident heading into fall. Can't lie. So at several positions, people say, hey, you know, we might need to work on several positions, but I feel really confident at several positions. There's a couple, you know, what if some of these guys pull through and we'll be rolling. Two by two set here. Um, can't really, don't know exactly what the coverage is. Jaden Harris is over the top here. It looks like a too high. We see him shifting over to the middle and me here from the nickel getting like he was supposed to be that deep. Uh, <clears throat> just wasn't able to get deep enough, uh, and wasn't able to get hands on Jacoby George. He's running full, you know, he's able to run full speed up the sideline. Uh, it's not going to allow your safety time to get over. So great job. Great ball placement from Cam Ward to put that ball literally right to the outside. Let Jacoby George fade for it. But again, offense was just looking smooth. This was just a great picture. Everybody just like, I can't wait to see the one with Cam Ward, uh, you know, on everybody. But again, you don't get hands on Jacoby George. Your safety is not going to, if you know, we're mixing up the coverage, your safety is not going to be able to get over top of that, especially over Jacoby. Nice ball on the outside. Uh, so it doesn't matter if the defender was able to creep back up on him. This play was super exciting. Two by two set from the right hash. This was, you know, a mistake. This is a young Judd Anderson as a freshman. Throwing this ball late, late little out route, little condensed formation. Late out route, man, long throw. Freeney just looking at it the whole time. They'll step right in front of it and take it back to the house. This was the, the number one uh, play for me on defense. Some good some good plays, excuse me, but when you can take the ball back to the house, uh, you got you to gotta love that. All right, so long throw. Again, it's late, too. That, that extra hitch, that's what killed them. Now he's throwing that. Freeney's already on the ball, able to get right in front of it. That hits him in his numbers, and he's running through. Great job there from Michael Redding to you know, understand that he has to continue to chase there. 
Uh, but man, what a big time play from him. Uh, see if he's coming into it. Jakari back in Brown back in that quarterback. I've been raving about Kirk. I'm, I've been saying it. I, I like Kirk. I think uh, he could be an explosive playmaker for us. Again, I'm not. I'm not for one saying I think we should use resources elsewhere instead of trying to get another number one receiver. We already have some. Uh, but 12 set here, man. It's Jakari just gonna let this thing fly. This is a one on one down the sideline. Kirk's just gonna accelerate. Great throw here from Jakari. Just giving him a chance. The ball's a little bit inside, uh, but Kirk was able to stack him, so he's able to go inside. If you leave that ball here, yeah, he could keep running for a touchdown, but it doesn't matter. It's accurate football, able to make a play on it. Great hands here going down, tracking that football. I mean, Kirk was explosive. Uh, he's seen that play where he went for like 40, 50 yards uh, after the catch. Here he is again on a bomb from Jakari Brown, staying on the line. He stacked this guy, so he was able to, if he wanted to stay outside, he could have faded there. Now this ball went inside. Since he stacked him, he's able to do so and track it. Uh, Kirk, super impressive. Jakari Brown letting it fly downfield. Uh, some firework going on on Green Tree. Uh, you know, our Cobb Stadium, I should say. Uh, it was nice to see. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for the King, for the review. I understand there's a little bit left, but this game just turns into straight touch, which is good. We got to get out of there healthy, and the clock runs, 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 runs. So let me know, guys, what you guys think, man. I think we're looking good. I'm going to be breaking down some stuff individually on groups. Definitely got one on Kirk coming out because I'm super excited about his breakout spring game. And, uh, you know, Cam Ward, obviously, Jakari, all these guys, you know, might get some, you know, specialized time since we have the whole game to review. But appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. Go Canes.